Oh, welcome back to the channel. So it's here. I finally got hold of the heavy cavalry sprues from Epic Battles Waterloo. So I started doing some painting of them and I thought I'd do a few stage painting videos for each regiment as I come across it. So starting off with the Scots Greys or the North Britain Dra Dragoons as they're known. So the Scots Greys famously rode grey horses and they didn't take part in the Peninsula War, but were definitely 100, at the 100 days. During the Waterloo campaign, they were part of the Union Brigade with the Inniskillen Dragoons and an English Dragoon Regiment. And famously, they smashed Durlon's Corps and Sergeant Ewart and managed to capture an eagle and is famous in Edinburgh still for it. So this is my how I've painted them. So what you've seen here is the first stage. So this is what I'll consider my basic painting. So what I've done here is I've put down the basic paints and I'm going to build up from there and I'm going to show you the different stages. So the horse, I've put Celestra Grey for the harnesses, etc. This is Black Templar painted on. Quite like using... The contrast paints like that because they're pre pre thinned and flow pretty well. The red is Mephiston red. Ollie's a gives us a paint. I will put a list of the paints in the video description. Now I did paint the bottom of the blanket. I was originally going to do it Monfang brown, but it blended a bit with the red, so I've gone for paint steel legion drab over it. Key thing to note is. This will be one continuous piece of plastic. So I've just put a red blob in there for now to make it look like it's hanging over the blanket rolls. Um, cross belts, gloves. This is the officer, so he's got a wee plume. This is all done with pallid witch flesh. The silver is iron hand steel, I want to say. The gold is retributor gold. And the trousers, sword, and, and this bit here is dawnstone. So pretty simple, a uh, oh, bit of Steel Legion drab for the hair as well. I've also painted a belt around the middle in Avalanche Sunset with blue. So it's pretty rough and ready. Basic paint job down. So that's stage one. Stage two. Just make sure that the stage is right. All I've done at this stage is I've covered everything in Agrax Earthshade. And what Agrax Earthshade does is darkens everything down. It also starts hiding some of the wee, wee mistakes I've made. This guy here has got a, a carbine, a musket. So the other one didn't because he had an officer. I used contrast paint wild wood with a bit of the metal colour Einhard steel round here. So you can see where we've started getting shadow building up. Now, stage three, what I'm going to do is start taking lighter colours and painting a bit of highlight on them. So for the red, I'm going to paint, well, I'm going to paint, I have painted Evil Sun Scarlet. Make the red pop. I've gone back over the greys with the Dawnstone. Uh, the gloves pallid witch flesh if you look I've left like a wee line so you can see the dip with the gloves I haven't really done anything else with the horse I've gone on top of the silvers with a really bright silver called runefang steel I've gone back over the gold as well so you see the model starting to pop actually I said I hadn't done anything with the horse I'd gone back over the flesh parts with Celestra Grey, the original base colour, and you see where I've painted it on the raised bits but left the muscle definition in, in the shadows. I mean we are very we are clo close up right now. When I've got more of an army finished and based, you'll see it all together. Bear in mind you're often looking at these models from a foot, two foot away. So you might be seeing, you know, that white cross belt might not be as neat. As it could be, but actually from a distance, they're going to be fine. Other stuff I've done, I've added a touch of metal on the stirrup. Uh, shoes I've done with uh, Black Templar. And then finally, all I've done, I've painted the skin with Wraithbone. 
and put a bit of Gullyman Flesh on bring out the skin uh, I've touched up the belt added a bit of gold to the braid on this shackle uh, yeah shackle as well or oh, hat I think it's a busby with a it's a busby with a shackle cover on it so yeah fairly quick fairly simple quite an enjoyable paint job oh there's only going to be one regiment of them at Waterloo what my plans are is to be able to field the Union Brigade in which case I'll have one unit of these I'm using three bases for my cavalry three bases of five so I'll have this and two units of heavy dragoons and then I'll do a household brigade which will be the um, the blues so lifeguards and blue tunics lifeguards and red tunics and uh, dragoon guards as well when I get around to adding the Dutch forces, I'm going to be using some Carboneers and I'm going to, I was thinking about head swaps, but actually looking at the models, I think I'll be able to do it with a paint job. But anyway, like I say, nice, quick and simple. I'm a, I'm not the world's greatest painter. What I do do is get armies painted up, looking really good on the tabletop. That's, that's my scale. So that's my quick and simple, get down your base coat, stick a shade on, pick out some highlights, job done. I will be doing other videos for the lifeguards, in which case I'll cover the Dragoon Guards as well. The Carassiers, the Carboneers and the Dragoons for the French as well. So I hope you're having a great time wargaming at the moment. I know I am and I look forward to chatting to you in another video. That's goodbye for now. Goodbye.